TV. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers. We are escaping to the action tonight from the Seminole Casino Immokalee. Open 24-7 even on Thanksgiving. This is where Paradise wins. It's an entertainment experience unique to the Paradise Coast with more than 1,200 of the newest slots, 34 live table games, and a world-class poker room. The action never stops and the fun never ends. There's live entertainment every night. There's no last call at the Zigzag Lounge and guests have four dining options sure to tempt every appetite. This really is the perfect place to plan a celebration. And it just so happens that we are celebrating our one year anniversary of Paradise TV. I know, happy one year, Happy Steph. one year. There's so much to be thankful for here in Paradise and we have a lot to show you tonight. Let's go ahead and get things started. In tonight's show, we're showing you the best of Paradise, tasting our favorite foods, sharing some wild water experiences, and sculpting masterpieces in the sand. We have definitely had an exciting year here on Paradise TV. We thought this was the perfect opportunity to take a look back at some of our favorite moments. Now, I wasn't here the entire year, but I have gotten to do some really, really cool stuff. Take a look back at Paradise TV's first year. Paradise TV has taken us to almost every corner of Southwest Florida and beyond. Joining you tonight from the beautiful South oh, yes. Seas Island Resort here on Captiva. And we are here in the heart of Naples. We're joining you from Universal Studio. And we're at the aquarium at the Moat Marine. Tonight we are coming to you from Shrimp Boat Lane. Oh, at Hammond Stadium. This certainly is the place to be. Bill Wood helped launch the show from one of the most popular destinations here in Paradise, downtown Naples. Naples. And this is our exciting first show. We call this Paradise TV. It wasn't long before Paradise TV was sailing off on a Disney cruise, exploring Key West, Nassau, and Disney's own private island, Castaway Key. Lunchtime, stingrays! Back here at home, we showed you why living in paradise is like living on vacation 24-7. We explored the water in almost every possible way. We ventured on a sightseeing cruise in Naples, kayaked our way through Pine Island Sound, and towed the rope with some extreme skiers. Paradise TV also took to the skies. We flew over Fort Myers Beach in a parasail and even soared over Immokalee in a hot air balloon. And what good is living in paradise without food? Paradise TV loved taking you from sea to table. We searched for pink gold with our local shrimpers and clawed our way into the process of trapping and cracking open mouth-watering stone crabs. We also got to meet and learn from some colorful characters here in paradise. I am Megatron. I am Stephatron. A steel drummer showed me how to make tropical music. A glass artist showed me how to shape blown glass. And most recently, I was transformed into a cat's cast member. <laughs> Stephanie had her fair share of fun and adventure, too. She twisted through hoops with Cirque du Soleil, learned how to fly with a jetpack, and took sailing lessons from the pros. But here's the best part about living in paradise. Even though we've traveled to all these exciting places, we haven't even scratched the surface of all paradise has to offer. Time really does fly. And let me tell you, it was very hard picking out just some of the highlights. We had such an awesome year. We did. We have so much more planned for Paradise TV. I'm looking forward to so many more adventures, and I hope you are too. To see more of what Paradise TV has been up to, log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. We sure have had a wild ride, haven't we, this we first have. year, Steph? Talking about wild and crazy rides, I'm thinking about a trip that I took on the Naples jet boat. The ride starts out slow, surrounded by the backdrop of mansion homes. But soon, you find out what this jet boat is really all about. Speed, power, and getting wet. Reaching speeds up to 45 miles per hour, the spins and sharp turns keep you on the edge of your seat. No one leaves dry on this 360-degree jet boat tour. It's the best boat trip ever! <laughs> and a word of advice, they don't exactly have seat belts on these boats, Ooh. so hang on. <laughs> you certainly get wet. Well, something else that's really cool that happens on Naples waters happens once a year. It's the Great Dock Canoe Race. Get 
began in 1977 by the Dock Restaurant as an end-of-season party, the annual Great Dock Canoe Race is arguably Naples' most popular event. Contestants dress the part and battle it out in a three-mile race on Naples Bay. Everyone in this race is a winner since all the proceeds go to a local organization each year. I definitely think it's those costumes and decorated boats that make that event. It's true. It's very creative and a little crazy. Now, some people think you have to be a little crazy to explore the waters of the Everglades. But one of my favorite adventures was when we explored the Everglades by airboat. Gliding across the glass-like surface of the waters in the Everglades on an airboat gives you an up-close view of what this ecosystem is all about. The plants, birds, and of course the alligators are all part of the adventure. People come from all over to see a glimpse of this truly wild side of paradise. Yeah, we get a lot of a lot of people that's never seen an alligator or been down here in this part of the Everglades, and they, they seem to really enjoy it, and we try our best to give them a real good ride. All right, jet boats, airboats, canoes, there's a lot of fun ways to spend a day out on the water here in paradise. There sure are. And coming up later on Paradise TV. Big burgers and tasty treats. Paradise never tasted so good. And later, Check your calendars. We're about to go back to the future. But first, tonight's Pictures in Paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee.